Hello everybody, what's up? I'm finally done with Afro Samurai. It only took a fucking month because I took a hiatus from trying to be Justice because he was just an aggravating little douchebag who was continually pissing me off. But I finally finished it. Um, considering that I took a hiatus, it seemed like a, like a long game, but it really isn't. Uh, there's only about, I think, five stories, and each story is, goes by pretty fast. Uh, Starts with the um, daimyo story. Well, actually, it starts out with the prelude, and then it starts out with the daimyo story, swordmaster story, I think, Okiku story, Empty Seven story, Kuma story, and then it goes to Justice's story. And I mean, that's that's about five things. I think I, I'm not sure, but I mean, it's a relatively good game. It's a hack and slash. Um, it's it gets repetitive. Um, but I gotta say that the music is some of the best I've heard in a game bar, bar cup. Um, I mean, the only other music that I really like from a video game are the Dot Hack games music, because those are orchestral. Um, and a few other musics I can't really remember, but... This has uh, great music. It's done by the RZA, who's a member of the Wu Tang Clan. It's crazy. It fits this game so well. Um, if if not, if you don't want to buy the game, I think you should just rent the game. And I think you should rent the game because it's a fun game. It's relatively short, but it's good. Um, And I mean, it's got Samuel L. Jackson as the voice. I mean, it's got Samuel L. Motherfucking Jackson as the voice of Afro and the voice of uh, Ninja Ninja. And then there's uh, then you've got the incomparable Ron Perlman, who you know him as uh, I think Lord Hood in Halo Three. I think I'm getting the name right. He's from he's th that guy. He does the narration for the Fallout. He does the narration for Fallout 3, um, and he does it for the other Fallout games. Um, you know him as Hellboy. I mean, he's a really good accomplished actor. Along, I mean, when you got Ron Perlman and Samuel L. Jackson, I mean, that's a recipe for awesomeness. But I think the game developers dropped the ball just a little bit. With Afro, they could have done it a twidge more better, or better, but not more better. But they could have done it better. Um, now I guess I should give you my rating. Uh, I'm gonna give it a two out of two and a half out of ten, uh, two out of two and a half out of five, and three and a half out of ten. Good, but it could have been better. It could have been way better. Um, if you like Afro, if you like Afro Samurai, if you like Ninja Ninja, if you like Samuel L. Jackson, if you like Ron Perlman, if you like the anime uh, of Afro Samurai, then you might want to buy the game, but I recommend renting it, because I bought it and I sort of regret it. But, yeah. So, this is a rent. Not a buy unless you're a really hardcore hack and slash fan. I guess that's it. Peace, love, harmony. See you guys later, and this has been my review of Afro Samurai. Sorry for no game footage. Peace out.